In this video, you're going to learn how to set up a checkout page. So this is really good if you're a coach, trainer, YouTuber, and you work with clients and customers, and you need to build them and actually invoice or a checkout page. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can create a checkout payment link page, and we're gonna connect it to your Stripe account. So all you have to do is send them this payment link when you're done with the coaching session or a customer review or anything like that, that payment will go right to your Stripe account. So you want to pay attention to this message because this is going to be educational and a little bit of entertainment. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the channel and the video today. In today's video, we're going to talk about setting up a payment link through buynowplus.com and that's going to go right to your Stripe account. That way you can get paid, right? So this is an easy way of setting this up. It's user friendly and I'm going to go through the steps step by step. So you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and dive into the content because I was asked about this about a few weeks ago, how to set up a checkout page. You know, if I have my own business and I'm selling my own products, how do I set up a checkout page and it goes right to my Stripe account? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now what to do in that method. And don't forget guys, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like, comment throughout this video as well. So let me go ahead and go right to the content. So right now we're at buynowplus.com. You can go to Google. So let me go ahead and go right to Google and I'm gonna show you from the beginning. So if you're not familiar, you can go to buy, now plus you can type that in and check this out right here that says buynowplus.com we're going to set up a checkout page and a payment link for you can send that to your customer or clients for they can go ahead and pay for your services if you need to charge them now this is good for coaches trainers you know anybody that's in, in, that has a product that you're selling or a service this is really really good for you so we're here at buynowplus.com sell anything anywhere easily create a buy now buttons for a quick and easy checkout experience so what you're going to do is start out a free account so right now i'm going to go ahead and log in log in i already have an account with them already so if you do not have an account you will connect it right here so you'll connect click right here connect to stripe so i'm going to go over the create account real fast so you'll create a Stripe account and it says right here, already have a Stripe account. You click in that sign in button, right? I'm going to go to Stripe here in a few minutes to show you that as well. So if you do not have that, you need to fill out this business, this detail right here. So if you do not have a Stripe account, you need to go ahead and set up and activate your account right here. And that's how you can set it up. It's free to do. It's free to set up your Stripe account and your Buy Now Plus account. Because the Buy Now Plus account is where you're gonna get the checkout page and the payment link for you can send to your customer or client. So, I already have an actually an account with Buy Now, so I'm gonna show you how it works after you fill out the create account information if you do not have an account with Stripe. So, I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now. My information, okay? And my password, you can always forget password here. If you get your password, you can always click there. And so I'm going to log in. So right here is where we create our buttons. This is where we create the checkout page where people can go in and pay for your services. And you can set up the pricing. It's really, really cool. And it's something that I believe every coach, trainer, business operator, business owner should have in their disposal because you want to go ahead and charge your services. So if you're a YouTuber and you're teaching people how to do social media or you're just teaching them how to do something for a one-on-one -on -one client, this is a good place to start. So we're going to start a brand new one. So we're going to do add new and we're going to go ahead and create the checkout page, which is basically create a new button. So the terms can be whatever your terms and conditions is of your services. So we can say coaching. Let's say this is a coaching um a coaching services and I'll say social media marketing all right so that's gonna be the terms and condition you can type anything you want but you want to type in exactly 
what that is because it's going to show up on the checkout page for your clients you want to be really specific of what that is in the description you can say social media marketing marketing attraction marketing tips and methods so that's what we went over so you can in the description you can you can pretty much put anything in the description i just put something there as an example as a test to let you know that you want to use the description as well and the terms because you want the client and, and customer to really understanding exactly what they're paying for even though you already had that communication because they're going to keep this for their record as well they're going to keep this in their records if they decide to file you know their taxes and things like that it's good to have really good documentations on this as well so the next thing is we're going to do the price so let's say for the conditions we did for one hour you know what we we'll do here is say one hour of service okay and i could say which day we charged them and say we charged them 97 dollars for one hour let's just say that so one hour is 197 dollars this could be a fixed price or variable i like fixed because it's just, it stays right at the fixed price you can use variable if you decide to you can but keep it simple go ahead and use fixed just keep it simple so currency they have several currency in here us dollar if you're united states or if you're out of the country if you're in canada if you're in australia you can use different currency as well the euro dollars in here as well so let's go ahead and use the us dollar us dollar now this is the test mode now test mode is kind of like the preview before the actual link is activated so we're going to use the test mode first then we're going to go back in and uncheck the test mode for the link and the checkout page can be active so we're going to do this very very step by step stripe account like we were doing earlier when it said connect your stripe account you want to go ahead and click on there so if you already have a stripe account this will show up if you do not have a stripe account you need to go back to to connect to stripe button when we were at when creating account you need to go there and connect your stripe account you also can go to stripe.com i'm going to go there in a few minutes and you can also create your free account from there as well so the next thing you want to do is go to advance so we can go to advance here and the fields the actually fields you want to go ahead and make sure you check out are the name and the require display and require you want to make sure the name you can have this if you want them to fill out their billing address and the shipping address if that's important, you definitely want to check these out as well. But if this is something just online, if you just want their name, just leave those there. But you can use these as well. You can display those as well. So the next thing is the is the actually button text. What do you want on the button? You know that that chip that click on that button. What do you want them to have? I just keep it simple. Buy now, check out now. You know, to something that they know. Okay, when I click on that checkout page it's going to be to check out and go ahead and pay for the service so we're going to just use that by now the return url is usually your website you also can use your facebook profile name in there you can use your youtube name in there as well so let's go ahead and use our website we're going to use a website adamshelton.com let's make an example just just an example if you have a website if not you can use your facebook profile name your youtube url name you can use anything it's basically just records pretty much of getting back to you as well and the cancel url is pretty much you can keep that the same here you can use the same as well or you can leave that blank as well but we're going to go ahead and fill it out so the next thing it says recurring so if, if you want this to be a recurring payment on each time so if i click on recurring it's going to say do you want this to be weekly do you want this to be monthly quarterly or yearly so if this is a one-time payment you want to uncheck this if you want this recurring on a certain basis then you want to go ahead and click on monthly and then you can check out your periods your trial periods right there that you see there but since this is going to be just a one-time payment we're going to leave that there so the next thing we're going to do create create now it says success button was successful created now this is the thing we created here you see the date here may 26 2020 right here this is a test account remember we were saying it's not live because i just want to let you know that if you can create different types of checkout pages 
and you can go back and change them and edit them before they go live. So in these action buttons here, this is where you go back and edit it. So if you wanna edit that checkout page we just did, you can view the actual link from here. Remember, this is test, so it's not gonna really completely show up. And then you can actually share this information or you can go ahead and delete it. Sharing it is pretty much, that's the link that you're going to use in a few minutes. And if you have a website embedded code, you can actually put this on your website. So you can embed the actual checkout page right from your website. And these are the social media outlets and channels you can share your link to. So if you may be, you may be on Facebook, on Twitter, and then maybe you're doing business on Twitter, Facebook, Google, you can actually share this information from, to, that, to your profile. You can actually share this to your profile, to your account, your Facebook account or your Twitter account, which is really, really cool. You can share this information there. So it does make it easier. So what we're gonna do is, is go back and edit and we're gonna uncheck the test mode because we're ready to go. We're not gonna make any changes and we're gonna uncheck the test mode and we're gonna click on update. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to buttons at the top. See the buttons at the top? And now the $97 services, it's live now. And now what we'll do is we'll test it by clicking on view. Clicking on view, it's gonna look at this. It's live, so I have not shared this link anywhere. So it's just, we're the only ones that sees it. I've not shared this to any customer or any client. And check this out, here's the name, here's my name. So your name will pop up there because you're the name, you are actually are the person who created this. This is the coaching service, remember that terms of details? In big, I like this, have it right in big. So coaching services, social media marketing. This is the description that we did. Social media marketing, attraction marketing tips, and method, one hour service, which is good. And this is what the information they will fill out. So here it is. They will fill out their name, email, credit card, expiration date, and they'll go ahead and check out. That, when they check out and pay for that, that information, that payment information, is gonna go right to your Stripe account. Right to your Stripe account. And if you don't have a Stripe account, this is where you'll go. You go to stripe.com, and you can go ahead, and it just says, don't have an account, sign up. You'll go ahead and sign up. I have a Stripe account already, so, what would happen is this is a test account this, this, this is a test account i'm going to sign into my stripe and you'll see that this is what stripe will look like it will look just like this and here you can see the payments it will come in here you'll see your payments come in you'll see all the balances and the customers and the products all that stuff will come right through here it says add name all that you can add names anything like that so this is what will happen here when you go ahead and test in your account. So I just wanted to show you that this is a test account and you can always test it because then you can go right here and you can make sure it's connected and everything like that. So, so that is buy now plus your buttons and making sure, let me go ahead and log out. Uh, accounts, settings, change your settings here. This is your settings and this is the company name. You know how that name that shows up on the invoice? You can actually change that. So your company name there, you can put your company name. So I just put my name there, but if you want the, your name in a big header on that checkout page, you can change this right here. And that's what, so if it says, you know, financial solutions, you can change that company name, put it in there. Or YouTube mastery, you could put, your, put the name of that there as well. So that's another way you can do it. So you can update it as well. And uh, let's see another thing. Uh, that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple to do. You'll go ahead and log in, click log in. And then if you have an login, if you have an account, you can go ahead and set up a free account. So it's a connect to Stripe and you'll, you'll start right here. If you have not got a buy now plus account, you'll start right here. Everything will start right here. And if you need to start a Stripe account, if it's not letting you for whatever reason, you can go to stripe.com and set up a free account from there. So that's what you can do there. So let me go ahead and go back to here. This is back to the main screen. I hope you enjoyed that, a breakdown step here. And one more thing I wanna show you, one more thing here. One thing I forgot to show you. I wanna show you where the link is. So one thing I wanna show you, this is the link. So it's at the top here. Let me go ahead You see the link there. That's the link right here. So I'll take this link here. I can take that link and I'll show you another place I showed you earlier. The link is also in the share, the share buttons. This is the link here, it's a smaller link. 
So you'll take that link right there. Copy and paste that link. Watch it. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste it in another window. So I'm going to paste it. And check it out. Just like that. It shows up right there. So I copy and paste it. And you take that link and you give that to your customer or your client as well. So I wanted to show you that real fast. And that's all I got from you. Absolutely. Right below this video, I do have where you can go ahead and sign up for your free account with Stripe. Sign up your free account with Stripe. And I'll have the information for the Buy Now Plus as well. So I'll have the link for Buy Now Plus. It's free to start right below this video in the description box. And I'll have the Stripe um, stripe.com information right below the description in the description box as well but you can go ahead and start setting up your checkout page get that link and send it out to your customer or your client where they can pay for your services it doesn't matter what service it is this is a clean this is a clean legal way of how you can do it really fast too and you can keep it for your records as well so my name is Adam Shelton. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, and share this message if you feel like somebody needs to hear this because I know YouTubers out there, there's a lot of business owners that has businesses and you need to set up your uh, checkout page that's connect to your own Stripe account. And it's all free to do. So my name is Adam Shelton. I'll see you on the next video. I can't wait and I'll see you next time.